Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. What's up, guys? Much respect, bro. Much respect. Much respect. Much respect. That was a good fight. Defense. Defense. It's boxing, baby. <laughs> Was that the game plan coming in? Is that what you're going to do to use that superior mobility? Look, man, I told him ahead of time. You fought Khan. He could box. You fought Matisse. He can punch. But you never fought somebody that can box and punch at the same time. You know? Now, people forget that boxing is a sport. And sports are scored on a point system, right? Now, fight fans love to see a tremendous fight. And sometimes when you come to a boxing match, you do get that. You get what you want. You get what you desire. But sometimes you see boxing. Boxing is an art. I finessed my way to victory. I told you that my defense and my accurate puncher is what made me victorious. It was a small margin, but it still made me victorious over Sean Porter, okay? Danny, we believe that we took a big lead. We hit him with big punches early on. And he had this awkward movement about him. He had this awkward way he wanted to counter me. I was aware of his counters. I told you guys that he throws wide. I want to throw wide too. I want to show him like, you know, you swing, I swing. Batter up, right? I've been giving y'all baseball references this whole week. Batters up. He swung, but he ain't hit no home run. I swung, I didn't hit no home run. But overall, I landed more punches. There were a few rounds where his aggressiveness and the lack of uh, my output may have won him some rounds. But in the same essence, I could use that same boxing style up my work rate, and there are rounds where for every one punch, I was landing two to three punches in return. And I knew I was winning those rounds, you know. Um, he didn't like my movement, and I understood that. And I told you guys, once again, that I'm gonna treat him like a computer, you know. We're gonna copy and paste whatever's working. Whatever's working, we're gonna copy and paste, you know. He didn't like the different angles. He didn't like the elevation of the head. He constantly was trying to go to the body, constantly going to the body because he couldn't hit me to the head. Then when he swung at the head, I ducked, I made him miss, you know? Um, I used my jab a lot. His eyes were very good. I was actually impressed with the way he was able to read, you know? I, I mixed up changing the jab into a hook and it was effective sometimes, but due to his lean back and his understanding of distance, um, sometimes I was missing at well, you know? I mean, I told you guys, I do this shit for fun, baby. This is my day job. This is my job. This is my dreams. This is what I'm here for. I'm here for the challenge. And Danny Garcia did challenge me today, but I passed. I passed. He did not pass the Keith Thurman test. Sean Porter did not pass the Keith Thurman test. We are 28 years old, 20 wins, 22 by way of knockout. I mean, I love the world boxing. This is what I've loved ever since I was a kid. And it was an honor and a blessing to be a part of boxing history today and to have a tremendous world champion like Danny Garcia as my opponent. You guys, you know, y'all should start to see, man. I'm humble, man. I truly love the sport. I love everything that comes with it. Uh, how do you rate Danny's power? He's strong, you know? I mean, uh, he hit me in the arm and one of those left hooks that he missed and I mean, my arm hurts right now. I mean, it felt like a brick was coming at me, you know. Um, mm. So he, he's strong. And, I, and I, I constantly said that, you know, what could be his weakness is his flat-footedness. What could be his strength is his flat-footedness. His flat-footedness allowed me to dance around him, allowed me to move. But it's 
the fact that he's flat footed, when he wants to commit to punching, when he wants to commit to swinging, he has weight behind it. And I felt the weight of Danny's punches today. I, I kept my defense, I got out the way, uh, the majority of practically all of them, you know, and, um, and it wasn't that effective, but his power was there. He was eager. He would start throwing, you know, two hooks together, three hooks together, awkward uppercuts and hooks, but they were swinging and, and not being that effective. Uh, what's, who's? Okay, hold on, hold on. Oops. Can he be changed? Uh, or is that how, how he fights? You know, the, Adrian Broner calls it the no look left hook. Can a trainer come and, and change that about him? Because it, obviously he's exposed to that, I guess. I think he has changed a little bit, you know. Um, when I was backing him down, he was hopping. He was doing a little bit of the side to side, side to side, pull back, smother me, hold me. He had he had technique, man. He had technique, but I had superior technique, and I was able to reach his technique, you know. But ultimately, it comes down to who lands the most punches, who's the most accurate, you know. I knew there were times where my hands were up, right? He's throwing a one-two. And I have to think to myself, that didn't hit me. But it looks good for the judges. It didn't hit me. But it looks good to the crowd, you know? Am I winning this round because he did that? Am I winning this round? I don't know. You got to take that in consideration, Keith. You haven't gotten a knockdown yet. You haven't got a real... Mm. ultimate spread that puts all eyes on you and on your damage, you know. Um, I was check hooking them, you know. I was landing straight right hands to the body. I was landing short uppercuts here and there. Um, I was landing more of the combinations when combinations were thrown. Um, I mean, it was, it was, it was a nice night. Of this is Bobby and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.